Hey, what's up, guys? Today I got a review of the Jelly Bean Launcher on the Epic 4G Touch. This would work on any Android phone. But I've been trying it out for about, I'd say, two days. So far, it works great. I haven't really found any bugs with it. It moves flawlessly. You can't really see me moving my fingers, but it goes perfect. There's no lagginess, probably because the phone's I'm using is pretty high tech. But, uh,. I'm going to show you some cool features. One of them is if you slide up, the taskbar goes away. That's pretty cool. You got a full screen mode. I like that. Um, everything else, I mean, like just to move an icon, you can go like that. Then you can also edit icons, uninstall them, and remove them right just from holding them, which is pretty cool, I think. Just remove it. Boom. To add an icon, just go to the icons. This is pretty neat too. It'll be laggy at first just because how it's arranged. But after that, um, all the icons will move flawlessly and it won't really lag at all. Yeah, just well, all you gotta do is uh, grab and drop. It's pretty simple. Um, you do have a four icon dock down here instead of three icons and then the app icon. All you gotta do is just press the app icon, go to the apps obviously. Widgets, what it does, it's not really a widgets app, but it just kind of allows you to add stuff to your home screen. Um, it's not, nothing really special. You can just do the same thing by holding down a blank page. So yeah, that's pretty cool. One of the uh, one of the other features is landscape mode. I don't know if this will work very well. There it goes. So you can see I'm in landscape, and everything adjusts to the landscape. So I find that to be pretty dang cool. And to flip it back. Boom. I'll show you some of the settings for the launcher. Launcher settings, desktop UI, the icon crosshairs, this little hook crosshairs when you drag and drop an icon, desktop indicator, Let's see here, I'm not really sure what that is, uh, hide status bar, just hides the bar at the top. I wouldn't really, rec I wouldn't really recommend doing that, but Hide icon labels, I already have that enabled. Just basically you have the Facebook icon, you don't have the lettering underneath it that says Facebook. Which I think makes it look a lot cleaner. Auto fit, eh, you don't really have to use that. Desktop columns and rows, this is pretty damn cool. All you gotta do is you slide it over to two, slide, slide it over to two, and then watch this. Now you have five across and five down instead of four across and four down. Which, I mean, if you want a lot more apps in a page, then this would definitely be your thing. And see how the widget's kind of smushed over, it's still to 4 to 4. All you have to do is hold down the widget and hit edit. And then you can just drag it over. Boom, and it adjusts. To move it back, you just go like that. It is pretty stinking cool. I like this a lot. The battery's been great on it. I haven't had any troubles with the battery. It's actually been a lot better than my uh, main launcher. So, then to revert the settings, just go back to launcher settings, desktop UI, and just switch them back. Scrolling speed, I mean, self-explanatory. Overbounce is just the overbounce when you go up and down. Nothing really special there. System controls, icon crosshairs, system persistent attempts to keep the system from killing launcher. That basically means, um, since the launcher runs more so of an app than an OS, your phone will kill. Your phone will end up killing the uh, launcher, thinking it's an app. So then you revert back to your main uh, launcher, which is like the one that came with the phone. This way, it helps it. It won't make it stay there, but it will help it keep the launcher open. H home orientation uh, just basically is uh, how your home. Like the orientation of the layout, you have auto sensor portrait and landscape, pretty simple. I would keep it as auto. User controls, auto close, refresh, gesture up and gesture down. That's pretty cool. I mean, if you don't really care about hiding the status bar, you can change it to show previews, app drawer, just stuff like that. Icon packs. I don't have anything installed, but you can uh, download icon packs, which I mean depends on your phone but I think it looks pretty cool reboot launcher reboots the launcher about the launcher you just shows you about version this is the first build I think um, developed by syndicate apps 
very good team. So yeah, you go back and you're back to the home screen. I got my four icons back. Um, that's basically about it. I mean, one cool thing I haven't really been able to do before is go to widgets and say you have like an app that's only used one by one. You can go ahead and hold it, edit, and then you can also drag it to like where however big you want. And I don't know if you'd want it that big, but I mean that's pretty dang cool that you can edit widgets that usually aren't you able to edit. So I find that pretty neat. The only, th only other thing I've noticed is moving background, which I really, really like, because I had a live background before, and that wasted a shit ton of battery. This, it looks cool still, but it moves and stuff, and it doesn't use as much battery. So yeah, guys, that's about all I have. Hope you really like this launcher. I'll put the link in the description of where you get it. You can get it from the Play Store, and it's free, best of all. Hopefully, there will be a port, an actual port of Jelly Bean to the Epic 4G Touch here soon. So if there is, I'll surely be making a video on how to install it and a review of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.